Hey guys, welcome to episode 23. So it is only a few days left until I move, which means the 55 gallon here, the 55 gallon fish tank, the 125, and the 20 gallon mangrove tank will all have to come down move and be set back up which is going to be a large task um everyone's doing good um i um one of my uh, mercury vapor bulbs the first one that i used on the 125 lasted for about a year and i just switched it out um I did have a mega ray, um, but I switched to a power sun. Uh, I'm gonna give the power sun a go just because I've heard the the mega ray uh, was having some supply issues. Um, but uh, I got two mega rays um, about a year ago, and the second one is sat in a box um, for a year. But uh, I recently installed it here. Um, for my 55 gallon hatchling tank and this morning it went out um, it was only in use for about a month and I think what happened was uh, this piece here got loose uh, I think this piece of metal might have touched the side of it as it was turning on and it just shorted out uh, which sucks so what I did was uh, I hadn't thrown out my my mega ray that was a year old so I did install it in here for for now uh, and I will probably end up getting another power sun um, and putting it uh, on on this tank after I move I don't want to risk losing another bulb in the move but um, the main reason why I wanted to make this video real quick is just to show you guys the the progress on these roots um, I try to get around here and hopefully you guys can see um, how well these roots are doing um, I'm gonna say they're probably about two inches long now some of them and it's amazing because they're growing um, probably a quarter of an inch to a half an inch a day right now uh, it's crazy how fast they're growing I haven't seen anything in terms of leaf growth the leaves look exactly the same as when I got them um, obviously when I got them they were kind of uh, clamshelled up like a few of them still are there but now they're starting to spread out but no new leaves um, but here's the exciting part um, I was concerned that uh, the red mangroves weren't gonna make it um, I hadn't seen any um, growth up top uh, but where I really should have been focusing um, was down below and I did shoot a video a, a, about a week ago um, showing that some of the the nodules were starting um, on the bottoms of these plants but now I don't know if you can see uh, but there are a lot of roots forming and sorry for the bad focus um, I'll try to make a video of these guys after I move um, but uh, I would say probably 50% of them have roots showing now and uh, that's awesome so um, I'm hoping within another three or four weeks uh, I'll start getting some leaves popping out here and at that point I'm going to have to be really diligent about um, the water and um, the iron content in the water and uh, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna transition these back to salt water, raise the the water level up, add some some uh, some sand and some dirt in the bottom. Um, but that's pretty exciting. So uh, we'll see we'll see if these guys will make it. And I really do hope they do. Um, the root growth on them is a really good sign. Uh, and sorry again that it's so dark on the video there's just a lot of light in this room and um, it's hard to pick up the the roots with with my uh, phone camera so um, that's that's what I wanted to talk about real quick um, 
I only have four or five Home Depot buckets, so what I plan to do is move one tank at a time. Uh, the 55 gallon tanks will fit in my car, so I'm just going to drain them down. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep what water I can in a couple buckets. The rest I'm just going to dump out. I'm going to put all the sand, all the rocks in a couple buckets, uh, remove all the plants, and just uh, start trucking stuff over, uh, or carring stuff over, one load at a time. Uh, hopefully um, by next weekend um, all of my tanks will be set back up, and um, I'm, I'm thinking about making a stand um, for this tank. I'm about done with having it on the floor, so uh, I have been researching some 2x4 um, stand designs, uh, so uh, that might be my next project, uh, and that will probably come right after I move. So that's about it for right now. Let me take you and just uh, show you... Uh, my fish because they're doing real well. Um, one of the mollies that I have in here, the wild type mollies, uh, gave birth to Fry the other day. Um, probably like three or four years ago, uh, not three or four years, three or four days ago. Um, and I don't know if you can see them, but and it's, and it's not going to focus, but there's one in the back. Oh, there we go. There's uh, there's probably about a dozen of them. They're hiding. Um, Java moss is awesome for uh, fry. So uh, if you have fish and if you're concerned about um, the fry, just add some Java moss and and they'll be fine. They'll find a hiding spot. Um, my uh, male beta was acting up and he was uh, picking on some of the the smaller fish. So I did have to put him in a little timeout container for right now. Uh, I'll probably set up a small tank for him uh, later on, uh, so that's that's just temporary. And I do have a couple uh, paradise fish; uh, they're pretty cool. Um, they're one of the oldest aquarium fish. Um, the 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 first boats that came from China with fish on them, uh, the only one, the only fish that made it, the only ones that survived the long trip was uh, goldfish uh, and paradise fish and goldfish because they're just super tough and paradise fish because they have a, a labyrinth organ in their head uh, which allows them to breathe water or breathe air from from the surface and uh, uh, they they survive they actually thrive in very dirty um, dirty water so um, kind of a unique fish uh, they're very pretty uh, mostly in the aquarium trade you only find the males and they do tend to spar a little bit with one another so I am keeping them separate right now but again I am planning on maybe putting them in their own uh, small tanks uh, a little bit later on um, so that's the fish tank and probably after I move the hatchling tank I'll move this tank um, and oh here's one last thing uh, I bought a 25 pound bag of Missouri aquatic turtle food uh, a year ago when I got my 2010 hatchlings as you can see I didn't go through much of it I'd say I might have used uh, five or six pounds of it uh, I've given some away to some friends uh, and uh, I contacted Missouri and they said that um, even if it's kept in um, in a dry dark cool place uh, it's only good for about nine months uh, so I mean you can always add three months onto whatever they whatever they recommend and and you're still good but uh, it's about time that I throw this bag out um, so if anyone's in the Boston area and they want old uh, turtle food, uh, by all means, you know, l let me know. Uh, post in the video or, or send me a message, and I'll I'll give it to you for free. Uh, I'm gonna end up ordering another 25-pound bag, and hopefully I'll go through a little bit more of it this time. 
Um, and if anyone's interested in splitting a 25 pound bag with me, let me know again and, uh, and maybe we can, uh, purchase it and then, and then split the, the food, uh, so that it doesn't go to waste. The thing that sucks is Missouri sells the 25 pound bags and then they sell one pound bags and one pound bags aren't enough and um, the cost is like five times as much so honestly I, I did the math out and as long as I use like five five pounds or more the 25 pound bag was was cheaper so I did so I guess I guess uh, you know that worked out uh, but it's about time that I I get some some new food um, I don't want to risk uh, poisoning my turtles there's another one of the fry back there. Very white. Um, I am feeding them the I'm feeding the fry um, something called golden pearls, and I just put it in this old container. Um, it's basically the nutritional equivalent of um, hatched baby brine shrimp, um, but it is a floating um, it's a floating food uh, a floating fry food um, I think I got it from Ken's uh, fish or some some similar uh, fish online fish store so uh, that stuff is is cool uh, it's, it's a great alternative in a pinch when when you're uh, not prepared to uh, hatch uh, brown shrimp and, and feed them but honestly the uh, the fry are, are probably big enough to eat crushed flake food but anyways that's uh, that's what's going on um, in another week I will hopefully be moved and hopefully some of my aquariums will be closer together uh, so they will be easier to maintain and I think the plan is to use the wastewater um, from this tank and from the hatchling tank, feed it into the mangrove tank uh, on a daily basis or a weekly basis or, or whatever, and uh, help help uh, help the mangroves grow and uh, get some free fertilizer. Uh, but uh, I might end up buying fertilizer for. The mangroves anyways uh, I'm not quite sure yet I guess we'll see how it goes but just wanted to update you guys and hopefully the move goes good all right I'll see you guys later